Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use perceptron learning rule to classify the given data. In this case, uh, we have been given uh, four data points or the vectors. The first data point is 1, 1, 1, 1. Second one is minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. These two data points or the vectors belongs to class 1. And the next vector is 1, 1, 1, minus 1. And 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. These two belongs to class minus 1 in this case. Now, uh, given this particular data points, uh, we need to use the perceptron learning rule and uh, find the optimal weights. They classify this particular data properly. So, first uh, we will assume the learning rate for this particular uh, numerical example as uh, 1 here. And we will initialize all the weights including bias to 0 in this case. So, this is how the input uh, data looks like. Uh, whatever has been given uh, that has been written in the form of a table over here here we have four inputs and t is the target over here now uh, if you want to use the perceptron uh, learning rule the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the net input uh, to a particular uh, neuron that can be calculated using the formulae b plus x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 plus x4 w4 where B is the bias, X1, X2, X3, X4 are the inputs, W1, W2, W3, W4 are the associated weights in this case. Once you calculate this particular net input, we need to use the activation function to get the uh, calculated output. So, activation function in this case is, uh, if the yn is greater than 0, the output is 1. If yn is equal to 0, the output is equal to 0. If yn is equal to or less than 0, the output is equal to minus 1 in this case. Now, uh, once you get this particular uh, output, we need to compare this particular output against the target. If both of them are same, there is no need to do the weight updation. Otherwise, we need to update the weights. To update the weights, we need to know what should be the change of uh, weight or change in weight. Uh, for that reason, we need to calculate delta w1, delta w2, delta w3 and delta w4. Uh, these are calculated using these equations. Delta W1 is equal to alpha T X1, delta W2 is equal to alpha T X2 and so on, where alpha is the learning rate, T is the target, X1, X2, X3 and X4 are the um, inputs to that particular uh, uh, weights or something. Next, uh, delta B is always equal to alpha into T in this case. Now, given all these particular things, so we need to... Uh, uh, give one example at a time to the network and then we need to find out the weights whether they are correct or not if they are correct there is no need to do the weight updation otherwise we should do the weight updation in this case now this is the first iteration uh, i have listed all these particular given things that is input as well as the target here for this particular first input we need to calculate the net input over here the net input e equation is given to us this particular equation we need to put all the values as I said earlier, the initial weights and the bias is equal to 0 and uh, input is over here, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, if I put all those things in this equation, I will get yn as 0 here. Now, once you get this particular yn, we need to use the activation function and then we need to calculate the output here. Because yn is equal to 0, the output is equal to 0 here. Output is 0, target is equal to 1. Because they are not matching, we need to calculate or uh, we need to update the weights. If you want to update the weights, we need to calculate the change in weights first. So, to calculate the change in weights, uh, we have written here delta w1, delta w2, delta w3, delta w4 and delta b here. We know the equation of delta w1. Equation is alpha t x1. What is alpha? Learning rate. As I said earlier, uh, it has been initialized to 1. What is target in this case? It is given over here. That is 1. What is x1? x1 is the current input. That is uh, 1 here. So, 1 into 1 into the alpha is also 1. So, everything will become 1 here. Similarly, I have to calculate delta W2. Delta W2 is what? Alpha T X2. Alpha is known to us. That is 1. Target in this case is 1. X2 is what? Here X2 is equal to 1 here. So, once you calculate this one, you will get delta W2 is also equal to 1 here. Similarly, we need to calculate delta W3, delta W4 and delta B. Once you calculate all these things, we need to calculate the change in weights. How to calculate the change in weights? W1 old is equal to 0, W1 new is equal to W1 old plus delta W1. 
so this is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 here D uh, w2 new is equal to w2 old that is 0 delta w2 that is 1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 in this case similarly we need to calculate delta w3 new w4 new and then b new in this case once you see this uh, do the calculation you can see here previously the weights were 0 now they were modified here now what i do is i will give the next input first so this is the next input again uh, the target is known to us that is 1 and uh, we need to calculate the net input here so net input in this case is uh, we you need to use this particular equation to get the net input if I put all the values I will get minus 1 here and uh, if I use that activation function that is minus 1 is less than 0 I will get output as 1 in this case so that is nothing but output is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 is not equal to target here again we have to calculate the weight uh, updations here so I will calculate all these things I will add this thing to the previous weights that is 1 is the old weight and delta w1 is equal to minus 1 if I add these two things I will get 0 here now uh, w2 new is equal to previous one is 1 w delta w2 is 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 similarly we have to calculate all these things next uh, we need to give this as the input and similarly we have to give this as the input to our uh, neural network so once all the four uh, inputs were given we have to see whether there was there was a change in weight in this particular iteration or not because there is a change in weights uh, we have to continue with one more iteration in this case again we have to start with the first input so we have to give this input to the system uh, it will we have to calculate the uh, y in here uh, use this particular equation and then calculate y in here and then we need to calculate the output so because it is equal to 0 the output is equal to 0 here so this is output is 0 and target is equal to 1 here they are not matching again we have to calculate the delta terms once you calculate the delta terms add this thing to the previous weights the last weight was uh, minus 2 that is with respect to w1 minus 2 plus 1 will become 1 here 2 plus 1 it will become 3 here similarly we have to calculate all these things next uh, i need to give this input again we need to calculate y in and then y out uh, y is equal to target in this case so there is no need to do the weight updation the previous weights will remain same here I will give this as the input here and then uh, I will calculate the y in y in is equal to 4 because 4 is greater than 0 output is 1 output is 1 but target is minus 1 they are not matching again we need to calculate the delta terms the equation is given here using those things we calculate delta terms here and then uh, we will add these delta terms to the previous weights so we will get the new weights here I will give the fourth input the y in is minus 2 the output is minus 1 and the target is minus 1 here target and output is matching here so no need to do the weight changes and uh, the uh, the weights will remain same in this case again if you look at this particular iteration or the second epoch there was a change in weight so what we do we will try to go with another uh, iteration or the epoch with uh, these new weights so with these new weights uh, i will calculate once again the net input here the net input is equal to 2 2 is greater than 0 so output will be 1 here and uh, you can see the target is also 1 because both of them are matching no need to calculate the delta terms the weights will remain same whatever they are present in the previous uh, step the same weights will be carried here next I will give this input again I will cal uh, calculate the net input net input is equal to 2 2 is greater than 0 output is 1 target is 1 because they are matching no need to calculate the delta terms weights will remain same here the same thing goes with the remaining two uh, inputs because uh, there was no change in uh, the target and the output because they are matching here you can see because they are matching there is no need to do the weight updation here so these will become the final weights because in this iteration there was no weight updation taken place so using these particular weights we will be able to classify the given data properly in this case so what we will do here is uh, we will draw the final uh, neural network something like this if you see here w1 is minus 2 w2 w uh, w4 is equal to 2 w3 is 0 and b is equal to 0 here so i will write b is equal to 0 w1 is equal to minus 2 w2 and w4 are 2 here and w3 is equal to 0 in this case so this is the neural network with respect to perceptron rule to classify the given data properly in this case 
I hope uh, I have explained how to use uh, a perceptron rule to classify the given data properly. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.